Hi, my name is Jake Gehring from Stonehouse Dairy. We've been on this farm at this location since 1856. I'm on the fifth generation and currently me and my wife are expecting the seventh generation coming this fall. We are milking currently 180 cows with two double box robots. We chose Womatic Robots because Womatic had originally been our dealer through Gearing Sales and Service. We liked the idea of milking from the rear. Our cows had previously been milked in a double aid parallel parlor. So we thought that it'd be a smoother transition for them. We liked the idea that you could milk two cows with one arm and making the arm more productive instead of sitting there idle when one cow was being milked out, the other arm could go back and start attaching the other. We also like the Bomatic Robotics because they were able to set the robot in the barn itself and not have to build a room around it, which greatly improved a lot of savings when we were budgeting building this new operation. Milking robotically has definitely been a great improvement in as far as even personal life of what you're able to do. You're able to be a lot more flexible. You don't have to be here three times a day at specific times milking cows. We're able to, if we have something going on at night, whether it be field work or something in our personal lives, either come a little earlier or come a little later, so you can be a lot more flexible with what you have going on day to day. With building a new barn, we basically, we were able to optimize where the barn, the robot was set. We decided to go with where they're sitting because we were able to use the sort gates to sort cows into the bedding packs. So whether it's for breeding or has uh, special needs, we're able to sort them and not have to go through the barn and fetch them as we obviously don't have headlocks, which makes that a lot easier to handle cows. As far as having robotic milkers, it greatly reduces the amount of labor that we're having on the farm. We're able to run this barn with two full-time employees. Uh, my wife, Molly, is the herd manager. She takes care of all of the day-to-day -day operations with cows and the management of that. And my dad takes care of all the feeding. And then I have an off-the-farm job uh, where I'm a full-time mechanic and then take care of the maintenance and field work. One of the reasons we also chose Bullmatic was because of the, how close the dealership was to us. They were within five miles of our the farm, so parts and service, whether it be during the day or after hours, is always there 24-7 as well. Contact with BMR when there's an issue that may arise that we're not able to take care of on our own is very timely and keeps the barn running 24-7, which is a big relief. We originally started milking with almost three years ago with a single grabber. We then updated to the double grabber, which had significantly less moving components and greatly improved the wearability of all the moving components with the sand. Included gripper clean definitely helped keep the components from wearing out as quickly. Transitioning from the single grabber to the double grabber and then now to the 3D camera on the head with the 7.2 update has been an amazing change. We're now able to milk 180 cows 3.3 times a day with a great amount of free time in the barn. We are definitely able to expand the amount of cows that we have with the existing equipment. Attach times have gone down. We're averaging on our later lactation cows about two minutes, 10 seconds, and then on our heifer box around two minutes, 20 seconds. And that has been significantly improved since uh, the previous update where we were attaching around three minutes. Milk quality has definitely improved. We somatic cell in general has gone down. The fact that the time between prep and attachment has been optimized and consistent has improved milk flow. We're able to gain almost nearly a pound a minute of milk flow just on that fact. With the last update, the cow health has really improved. We have seen much less mastitis cases just because of the fact that there has been less fails. The milking is much more consistent. Um, we are under 3% fail rate. The camera teach feature has improved even more than what it was previously. Now you're able to reteach a cow without even having to fetch her, bring her in the box, and then go through the procedure. You can simply select the cow that you're suspected of failing and thinking of a teach issue, reteach her from that screen, it uses her previously saved image, and you don't even have to touch or even look at the cow. The arm moves much more fluent. There's less pauses and inconsistencies, and from attaching one teeth to the next, it seems deliberate, it knows exactly what it's doing. Currently with the amount of cows that we have in the last update, we our amount of free time has greatly improved. As a total between all boxes, we're seeing around 24 hours of free time if you would add every single box together. So knowing this, we can 
expand our numbers, then I would feel confident milking 200 plus cows with the current setup we have. It has been a game changer with my confidence in Bomatic Robotics. The fact that with their user interface, their web app, and everything that they're able to do and provide with information, it keeps you in control of what's going on, connected even when you're not here. You can manage what's going on and see what's going on from a distance, let the cows do their thing. I would greatly recommend Bionic Robotics.